What's up, Diabetes family, and welcome back to another edition of Diabetes Kitchen. Today, we're going to do an oldie but goodie. We're going to do a chickpea tuna milt. Now, I remember back in the days when I was younger, tuna milts were my favorite things. But since I went plant based, I wasn't able to eat them until today. So I want you guys to do is I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. And I'll see you on the other side. I'll let ya boy. Welcome back, Diabetes family. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one can of chickpeas. Now, this will last you about one to two days. But if you're sharing this with another person, just add another can, you'll be okay. So we're going to dump our chickpeas into our strainer just to get all the juices and everything out. Now, once we properly drain our chickpeas, we are going to take it over to our sink and we are going to rinse off all the excess that was sitting in the can. Um, just take your time while you're doing this. We want to make sure we give these chickpeas a proper rinse. If you guys are interested in me showing you how to hydrate dry chickpeas, put something in the comments. Let me know and I'll do a video dedicated just for that. But since we are in a rush, and we don't have time for that right now. We're just going to do it this way out of a can. So now that they're properly rinsed, we are going to get ready to smash our chickpeas. Now, in order to give your chickpeas a proper smash, you're gonna need a flat glass bottom you're gonna need either a potato smasher or you can do it with a fork. Now, if you plan on doing it with a fork, make sure or plan on getting a wrist workout because it is some work. But I don't wanna scare you away from actually doing it with a fork. It wasn't too bad. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in order for this recipe to work, I don't like to leave any chickpea whole. I want to make sure that everything is smashed and nice and smooth. Now, your chickpea mixture should look something like this. Everything is smushed and ready to go. I didn't, I'm just checking and seeing if I left anything whole, which I did. So I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna start on my green onions. Now this recipe is pretty basic, ladies and gentlemen. This is like the baller on a budget type of recipe. But the good thing about this recipe is you can make it your own. You can add celery, you can add red onions if you like, you can add chopped up fresh dill. There's limited possibilities when you're making this recipe. It's all about your taste buds and what you can handle. Now, as far as this recipe goes, everything I need is ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add my chickpea mixture to my mixing bowl. Once I have my chickpea mixture in, I'm just gonna give it a nice little mix. Just make sure everything is nice and loose. And now I'm gonna prepare to add all my ingredients inside the bowl. So I'm gonna start off with the green onions and just keep in mind, like there is no order, perfect order. You can just do it how you please. But I'm gonna add my green onions first. And then I'm going to add some smoked paprika. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna be super seasoning this because with the mayo and the Dijon mustard that I'm using, 
I don't want to have too much seasoning. So I'm using the smoked paprika. It's going to give it a nice smoky flavor. And then I'm going to add my seaweed flakes. And this is going to give it that fishy flavor, taste, I guess. Believe me, it works. So now that I got all that in there, I'm going to add my mayo. Now this is a, the, a vegan mayo that you can get from any store. So in this recipe, I'm adding about a half a cup of mayo in this bowl. Now this depends on how much chickpeas that you're gonna be using, but for one can, I would say one half a cup will be good. And then I'm going to add my Dijon mustard. And once I have my mixture all into the bowl, I'm going to give it a nice mix, making sure everything is nicely infused like so. Everything is coming together and look, it is starting to look like a tuna salad. Look at that. Now that we have our mixture, ladies and gentlemen, let's start putting our sandwich together. This is my favorite part. So we're going to add our favorite vegan cheese. It doesn't matter what vegan cheese you use, but use what is good for you. And then I'm going to add my chickpea mixture on top, like so. Now, ladies and gentlemen, be very generous with your portions when you are building your sandwich. It doesn't matter. Well, it does, but this is actually really good. I'm sorry. Um, now that I have everything together, it's time to toast this bad boy. So we're going to do it like we do a regular grilled cheese sandwich. There's nothing special. We're going to get our vegan butter and we're going to put it in our skillet like so. Let it melt down a little bit. Once it melts down, I know I, I use too much butter. Don't come for me in the comments. I use too much butter, I know, but I mean, it is what it is. And then we're gonna add our sandwich to our skillet and give it a nice press down like so. Now you're probably asking yourself, why is this so burnt on top? And it's not really that burnt, but my other camera, the memory card, went dead so like i had to change it out so it was cooking while i was doing it i mean i'm the cameraman i'm the cook i'm the talent i do everything so please don't come for me my sandwiches don't usually look like this but it is what it is you feel me now i want to thank each and every one of you guys for taking the time and watching my video you can be anywhere in the world but today you decided to be right here with me and for that i thank you Please make sure you like, you subscribe, and click the bell so you know every time I drop a new video. Holla at ya, boy. Peace. Life is what you make it. I feel like a maze. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on drip. I can't afford, but that's the price I pay.